Hello guys and welcome back. It's Ellie and today I'm talking about Economics 1601 or Economics 1B. So yes, um, I suppose that it's quite a challenging thing to think about macroeconomics because there's lots of complicated words and it sounds like you're busy reading the business day. So the idea of the following couple of slides will just be, or videos, will just be so that you can feel more relaxed about what to expect with the exam. Okay, so there are five macroeconomic objectives that the government aims to achieve. The first one is price stability. So there's a little boat in the water and we want it to be stable. The next one is economic growth. So there's our economy, an E for economy, and we want economic growth. The next one is balance of payments. So here, balance of payments. I use a little scale and it has to balance. Number four is equitable, equitable distribution of income. Equitable distribution of income. Here I use a woman because generally women earn less than men if they're in exactly the same job. And that's not really fair. If they're doing the same job, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. So it's equitable distribution of income. And number five is full employment. Full employment. We want everybody to have a job so that we can be happy. Okay, now how do we measure these? What does the government look out for when trying to get here? The first one was price stability. Here we have a look at, inf so we want price stability, we look at inflation. Inflation. To measure inflation, so firstly there's an inflation target of 3 to 6% and they target it through the monetary policy. We measure inflation by looking at CPI, Consumer Price Index. Consumer Price Index. So if the Consumer Price Index year on year goes up, it means there is inflation. Inflation means, very simply, if last year, for 10 minutes of airtime, you paid 10 Rand, and this year you are paying 15 Rand, and it's still just for 10 minutes of airtime, it means the price went up for exactly the same thing, which means there was inflation. Economic growth is measured in real terms. Real terms, not nominal. Real. Real means we take the inflation out of it to measure it. And then we have real, the um, gross domestic GDP. GDP. So we use gross domestic product to measure economic growth. Gross domestic product uh, we are looking for year-on-year -year increase in GDP, real GDP. All right. Balance of payments, we look at um, the trade with the outside world. So it's not just South Africa, but here the foreign sector comes into account. And here there are sub-accounts. So we're looking at balance of payments, but there's also sub-accounts to look at. And that's the current account, the capital, capital transaction account, and the financial account. Not that important. Don't stress yourself out about it. Here we look at with price, with equitable distribution of income, equitable distribution of income, we look at the Gini coefficient. The Gini coefficient. The Gini coefficient looks at the difference between the amount of poor people and the amount of rich people in a country. And the lower the Gini coefficient, the more equitable the income distribution is. So a place like New Zealand, almost everybody earns sort of the same amount of money, which is great because it means there are less social tension. The Gini coefficient is measured with the Lorenz curve. Lorenz curve. But in short, a high Gini coefficient is a place like South Africa, where we have lots of shacks and lots of mansions almost next to each other. It means there's a very high Gini coefficient. And it's one of the government's objectives to lower that. Okay, last but not least is full employment. That's what they aim for. You'll almost never have full, full employment, but they aim for like sort of full. And employment or unemployment, you work out the number of unemployed people, unemployed people, over the total labor force total labor force okay so here is everybody that's willing and able to work 
between the ages of 16 and 65, I think. It's the economic active population. The unemployed people are every, is depending on whether it's the narrow, narrow, narrow or strict, strict definition or the broad definition. The strict definition says everybody that's been looking for work in the past three month, months, and the broad says just everybody who's unemployed. And you just put that number on top of the total labor force. Great, so that's the macroeconomic objective, objectives. Uh, that's what the government's uh, macroeconomic objectives are.